services as part of a wider health care across the county. They tell us these changes will mean more linked care for patients, so care near where you live, support at home, and, and uh, the GPs. It sounds good, doesn't it? So why are they only consulting on acute services? And what do we mean by acute services? A&E, maternity, gynaecology, and paediatrics, so the children's ward. Why only part of the 50 million they have to save are they talking to us about? Only part of the bigger picture. 200 million have to be saved in the Worcestershire NHS economy. The EQ Trust have produced six models for potential future health care. Before any consultation, two were ruled out, and then we believe that another one has already been ruled out as well. So you've only got three options left in this so-called opening listening exercise. The remaining three only keep one A&E, one maternity unit, and we all know it's not going to be at the Alex. This nonsense about we haven't been site specific, it will be at the Worcester Royal because of the way that hospital is funded, they can't afford to take those services away. They have failed to provide the evidence backing up their case for these changes. No data on patient admission. No detail about the model of what would cost or save the taxpayer. No formal discussion with other healthcare providers about what they can deliver for patients. No proof Worcester Royal or surrounding hospitals would cope with the increased amount. And no speaking to the ambulance service or public transporters. Just some vague talk about subsidised transport, which council would pay for or not. What about the what about the elderly person who needs treatment? What about the young mum expecting her first child and having complications? And what about the sick sick child travelling to Worcester? They started their review seven weeks ago. Since then, over 60, 46,000 people in Redditch and Bromsgrove and the surrounding area, that's an average of over 901 a day, say no to these proposals. No. In, in contrast, the Acute Trust have engaged with 390 people with no attempt to speak to those outside the county. It is a disgrace. They were invited at our event in Redditch. 5,000 people they could have spoken to. They were invited here today to see why there's, I would say, over 1,000 people saying no to these proposals. They haven't turned up because they don't want to hear the bad news. The message that we are sending is, no, we want these services. Put that in your consultation document and then we can start speaking. Do they really expect us to believe that we're going to get a better integrated care in the future by, by, so, by providing a so-called centre of excellence at Worcester, which we can't get to? GPs put in charge of spending NHS budgets to buy care from April the 1st, 2013. Social services and charities delivering care in the community and the ear of the doctor knows best. We've arrived, haven't we? With a 200 million black hole. Their words, not mine. We know community care isn't good at the moment. Read any newspaper. People fall through the gaps. The elderly, the frail and the vulnerable. Save the Alex doesn't oppose all change. But we don't accept the current review will deliver this brave new world of community-based integrated care. We do not believe that the acute A&E cases and women in labour will be best served by a 40 minute plus travel to Worcester. Longer on the bus. Yes. 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 They opened the Alex in 1986 and it replaced the former Smallwood Hospital, which is opposite where we're standing today. The local people in Redditch, then a new town, lobbied for years to get their new hospital and today that very hospital stands to lose vital services and be downgraded to a cuts and bruises clinic. How can this be the future of our healthcare? If 
the acute trust turn on their telly, turn off the Olympics and turn on the news, they will hear the loud cry from Redditch, Bromsgrove and the surrounding area that we want the hospital we fought for back then, we want it now, it must have A&E, maternity and paediatrics as a minimum to provide for what is a massive population area. It's simple. Do that and then we can talk about realistic changes in planned care. that the Save the Alex campaign is not affiliated to any political party. I know you'll see some banners about, they don't necessarily represent the campaign and we have wide support from a mix of parties so just because you don't see your party's banner here doesn't mean to say that they're not supporting us. We have support from the three main parties, Labour, Conservative and the Lib Dems and that is great to hear and we also hear that there's support from other parties as well. And it gives me pleasure to introduce somebody who is supporting the campaign, our MP for Redditch, Karen Lumley.